Tango. Seven three one Romeo Tango, move up for the visor. Seven three one Romeo Tango, we are clear your area. Have a good day. Seven three one Romeo Tango, Roger. Radio Skyhawk 410 Bravo Sierra. Skyhawk 410 Bravo Sierra, move up the advisory. Yeah, zero Bravo Sierra is at the ramp with Big Sky, I'd like advisories, please. 410 Bravo Sierra, move up the advisory, Fable Romeo 32. Oh, Air Missile Monitor Turbulence below 10,000 at Melville. Wind is uh, 310 at 8, that's 16, and ultimate 3027, advise when taking the active. All right, favorite 32 will advise when taking the active for zero, Bravo Sierra. Okay, test your brakes. I'll test my brakes. Okay, we're good to go. I see a marker beacon is on. That's for instrument. It lights up. It gives you a beacon on the... Uh, did you ever see that come on? A lot of times you'll see the lights come on. They're always on. Right. There. You set the bark beacon off. Not while you're taxiing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got me once so far. I'm sure you'll get me about five more times. <laughs> but anyway, that marker beacon's for the instrument. You want to... Anything that's lit up here is what you're listening to. Okay. Okay. So if there's nothing lit, of course, it's off. Um... And so all this other stuff is, a lot of this isn't here. All this isn't here, so I guess in case they ever want to put it in. Um, CS. Huh. I don't know what that means. ICS? Did it say ICS? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what that means either. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, anyway, so... Important, then. <laughs> <laughs> these are just, they're extras. So, um, NAVs. So, I like... When I get in the airplane, I like to have everything on 11 o'clock, and then my nav's off, because sometimes in older airplanes, they bleed through. All right, he should be okay. He should wait for us. <laughs> We're approaching the your, runway. Your leg's talking to you. <laughs> oh, what do you have that on uh, audio? This? Yeah. The camera? Yeah. Yep. So now I can hear everything we say, so don't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> I never mess up. <laughs> Mobile traffic, Zero Bravo Sierra is crossing uh, 2810 Bravo. Isn't it legal to, legal to tape somebody without um, them knowing it? Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the ILS, right? So that's the most important place to look, but there's an instrument approach to every runway here. So you always have to be aware, no matter what the wind is doing. Good. Will he allow you to talk while you're tax insured? He doesn't mind that. Yes. Okay. Just don't. And actually, if he did something like this, he wouldn't mind that either. Okay, as long as you don't sit there and set a, set a frequency, you know, look at your frequency, and that's how accidents happen. Okay, they're oh, sitting okay. there setting a frequency, you know, putting the, putting the radial, the bearing in here. So did you figure out what heading you need? From, well, I figured, I already figured it from, at home, from here to Woodman, good, which good, is 127 good. with the wind correction, I think. Good. But. That's what you're going to do with him. You're going to probably do pilotage and dead reckoning for the first part of the first leg. And then um, uh, he'll check you out on VORs after that. Now, every examiner is a little different, right? So I don't know this guy. And this, yeah, this is a new guy, huh? Yep. Our other guy is definitely out. He's done for the ever. What, what happened? He retired moved. Or? He moved. Oh, okay. And he moved and retired. All right. Hold on to you, please. 
I want the wind, the prop wash to catch it. The elevator. Yeah, right. Hardly dropped at all. Okay, what's the max drop? 150. 150. And how much between them? 50. 50 between them. <laughs> That's why I got it there, right? <laughs> We used, to actually, we used to do that at A&P school, too, with our run-up stands, magneto checks. Good. You can pull the power all the way back, see if it's going to stall on you. Make sure it's not going to stall. Good. Now back up to 1,000 or so. Why do we run it at 1,000 now? Why don't we idle it nice and low? Warm it up. Uh, what if it's the summertime, even? We still run it at 1,000. Get airflow over the engine? Well, that's part of it. That is part of it. That's the reason why we turn into the wind. Right. Uh, the other reason is to keep the vacuum up, the oil pressure up, and... Um, One other thing, I can't remember. Yeah, the, the alternator, the, oh, okay. uh, the, the amp meter. Because if you so watch, watch, discharging. Yeah, she'll discharge right away. There we go, see? Yeah. That's the other reason. Okay, cool. Sounds good. All right, so double check our inch here. That uh, 290. Good. Good. Altimeter set. This is set. Fuel quantity we checked is good. Good. We always go visual because we go by time. We don't actually go by gauges. Uh, those gauges have to read correctly, correctly. one time. Yes, they okay. have to read correct one time. When? When is that? When they're empty. When they're zero, exactly. Right. When they're at zero, they have to be correct. Okay. They never have to be correct any other time. Yeah, that's kind of silly, you know something? right? Well... So 28 volts, right? Yep. Give me the temperature, please. Even on temperature. 45. Good. You on Fahrenheit or? Yes. I don't understand that Celsius stuff. <laughs> all I know is zero is zero is three thirty-two. That's all I know. Actually, you should know. 15 degrees Celsius is equal to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Because that's the standard temperature. Right. You want to do a uh, soft field? Soft field. 10 degrees flaps. Why is taxium? I hadn't started moving yet. You were moving. Metal. You were moving three <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, say, now. Okay, so what we're going to do is go out here to the left, turn, look to the right, give okay. it a call, um, and then we'll turn this way and give it a call. I like to take one more peak, not a peak, more of a turn and peak, just before the runway. Good, so I don't see anything coming in to the right. Remember, uncontrolled airport. Anybody can come in any direction. Right, right. All right. Take a look if you can on 2-8. I don't think you can, but look under the wing there. Make sure no helicopters. Okay, helicopters come in from the opposite direction, right? Yep. But they can come in from any direction. I don't see anything. See nothing. There was one examiner, like, he made you do a 360-degree turn. If you didn't do that, he failed you. Huh. Believe it or not. Interesting. Yeah. Could you imagine somebody sitting behind you and you're doing a 360s? <laughs> Donuts. Rebel traffic, Skyhawk, uh, Zero Bravo Sierra is departing 3-2. Alright, one more time to the right and then we'll make a nice, strong left to get that wing out of the way. Then we don't, you know, if, you don't have to keep looking that way too much, but hey, it doesn't hurt, right? Right. It does not hurt. Alright, so nose wheel. Good. We don't stop on grass fields, okay? Right. So we keep it rolling, keep the nose up. And the trim you want set at the same yes. takeoff? Yes. Yep. So you don't really have to get to the edge, right? That's for nope. a short field. That's correct. Good. Just watch we don't hit the tail, of course. It's not a real soft field, so it could hit the tail. Check your heading indicator. We'll turn our yoke into the wind. Oil pressure temperature. All right, you ready? Yes. It's going to come up quick, okay? Right rudder as we add the higher angle of attack with power. It'll come up, let it come up. There we go, it's up. Put it down, pitch it down, pitch it down. There we go, a little more, a little more. There we go, nice. Hey, whoa, check that out. Nice job. Oh, oh. Excellent. Now, if we had a short field, we climb out of 60 knots here. Right. If we, have a, we don't have a short field, so 70 is fine. 70, 65, 70. That was excellent. Thank you. How'd I actually <laughs> do that? I don't know, maybe the wind helped. I got you prepared for the wind, though. You know, you see how fast it came up? Yep. Very nice. You know what, when you're with your passengers, don't forget to turn the heat off before. This guy roasts right here. Oh, okay. If you don't, and you'll roast too. 
Use your rudders? Are you using your ailerons without your rudders? No, never. Especially especially when you want to go right, of course, because you got the high angle of attack, so it's hard to go right. Right. All right, about 500, bring the flap, so. So you want to go towards the bay? Yes. I want to see if you, can, if you can find the bay. All right. Let's see. Is that it to the right there? <laughs> okay. No airplanes. Very little rudder going to the left, correct? Right. So we actually hold a little right rudder now, right? So the torque doesn't keep pulling us. By the way, in a steep bank, a 45 degree bank, it's a little touch of opposite aileron during the 45 degree bank. Because the plane has a tendency to overbank in a 45. In a steep turn, you're in talking about? In a steep bank, yes. Okay. Good, I'm going to lean us out and keep it rich with him, right? Yep. So before we descend, I always want you to say to yourself, where do I want my mixture in this descent? That's actually pretty nice today. I thought it was going to be cloudy, but... Why, because it's cloudy up there? So this morning, it was kind of cloudy. At least when I woke up at 9 o'clock. What's cloudy mean? Cloud, that's cloudy. They're high. <laughs> All right. Well, low ceilings. All right. Start your turn. <laughs> now, the, the way I less less left rudder in a climb, right? Okay. Less left rudder. Now hold a touch of right rudder to stop it from overbanking. Not aileron. A little bit of aileron. A little bit of rudder. Um, got up to three thousand feet quick. Well, we're at two two five two thousand five hundred. We didn't even leave the airport yet. Nope. We're two thousand five hundred. Um. You could have called this in by saying, we're going to do a... I didn't really know what we were doing, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it. Uh, standard downwind departure to the southeast. Okay. Basically, we're... Because if you see somebody get on downwind, you want to know if they're landing or leaving. So we called off, call right off the bat. Okay, I got you. Alright, so like I said, the goal of this is to find a bay. Obviously, we can find a bay. I want you to find the other landmarks that go with it. First thing is now, since we're near an altitude, take care of the airplane. Right. Start a little early. Halfway. Then 100 feet. Halfway again. Hey, really clear. Yes. Now, let's try something here. Still climbing. All right. We're, we're leveling off here. Okay. I don't want you... I, I want you to, if you have to, let go to see if it's coming up. But what I really want you to do... I'm going to give a lot of up trip. Okay? So we, we can do that. We can we can let go to see if it's coming up, right? But what I really want you to do... All right? I don't care about that right now. What I really want you to do is trim it till you take all the pressure off you. Okay? See that? Right. And then fine-tune it. Okay. okay, now, you try it. Your controls. All right, my controls. Now, hold it here, but just put pressure there, and just give it down trim till you do not have to hold it here anymore. Do a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. I don't think I'm holding it. Let go? Yeah? Okay. 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 That's what I'd rather you do. That's, Instead that, of that, <laughs> Yeah, that's more of a professional way to do it. Though. Okay. Yeah, All right, so just hold it till you don't have to hold it anymore. Okay. Now... Yeah, in the and you can start letting go and say, oh, okay, now that's what I do, okay? I, I get it here, all right? And we're going to stay at 3,500 since we're here. All right. What I do is I get it here, and I fine-tune it, and I can feel it. I'm, but you'll be able to feel it, too. So just kind of keep your hand on it, get a feel for it, so you're not you're not touching it. You don't really have to just let go, all right? Okay. Okay, your controls. All right. All right, so let's find a couple landmarks to get us to the bay. Hold 3,500. You pull the power back, too. Make me heading a one five zero. We'll stay port in land. Right. Uh, 
That's uh, isn't that Woodbine right there? Uh, no. No. Nope. Down there somewhere. That's it. Oh, okay, I see that building. You see that sand pit out there? Yeah. All right. It's approximately three, four miles to the right of it. Okay. That's the actual airport. You see the city before it? Yeah. Okay. It's. I think it has like a strip of buildings yep. on the left. Right? Uh, yes, that's it. That's okay. the runway. You see the runway? Right. Okay. Um. All right. So, river. River. All right. We got the, the prison here, and of course, obviously, there's the bay. Now, if you're with the examiner, you know, just say I see the bay and I I timed it to get to the bay about a certain time, and there's Cape May, and there's landing city. He's going to say, okay, good, you know where you are. Right. You're done with that part of it, okay? Now, you do whatever he says, of course. Who's piloting command of this flight with him? Me. You are, absolutely. So, if you think you're going through that airspace over there, and he says, give me a left-hand turn east, and, uh, and you sit there and say, that's going to take me through the airspace. No, I won't do that. I can't. We're not going to bust airspace. Right. You're piloting command. If this heading takes you through a cloud, say, I need to go down or around it or something, but we can't go through that cloud. Okay. It's your responsibility to make sure you are staying safe because you are the pilot. Okay? He's right. just a passenger. Um, you don't like the visibility before you take off? You don't like the winds? It's disgusting up to 22 knots today. Nope. I don't want to do it today. Sorry. Uh, visibility is poor like in the summertime? All right. Good. Let's start off with a... 45 degree bank. Let's start off with the steep banks. Okay. okay? Yeah, now, sounds good. That's going to be too many. Three is going to be too many. Just one or... Do I, I need this? No. It's, kinda, you, it's in the yeah, way. You, really. Yeah, get out of the way. All right, steep bank to the right, all the way back around to this heading. All right. To the right. 360 so return. We got to do a clearing turn. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now that you talked about it. Good. The main thing is I want you thinking about it, all right? We're not going to do it because I don't want to waste the time. Okay. So, it's 90 degree turn and 90, a 90 degree back. 90 degree back. What are we looking for in a clearing turn? Traffic. Traffic? Uh, high uh, population Population, areas. Co congested area, congested, absolutely. Yeah. Um, not over doing it over a nuclear plant, not doing it over a high school football game, a little league game. Right, right. Um, and not over doing it over an airport. Okay. Okay. We yeah. have landing fields. Do we have good landing fields in case we have a problem? Actually, yes. There's okay, a lot. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so good job. I like it. Uh, most people forget that all the time. All right, so 90 degrees this way, 90 degrees back, or one 180 degree turn. Okay? Okay. Good. All right, so you thought about it. I know the area. I know it's well. There's an airport there if we needed it. So, okay, 45 degree bank to the right. All the way back around to this setting. Okay. Clear. All right. Good. So I want to try doing Not yet. Not yet. Go ahead. I mean, you can go to the mover, not, not the opposite. Hey. Good. You give it the back pressure a little too much. Okay, now, two shots of up trim. Good. Now, hold that attitude. Don't glance at your instruments. Hold the attitude. More bank, more back pressure now. More bank, more back pressure now. Put two hands on the yoke if you want. More back pressure. A lot more back pressure. Look at your yoke. Relax just a hair, just to go back down, not too much, or the gravity will pull you out very, very fast. Very small changes. Now back up to your attitude. Keep in the bank, keep in the bank. Too, too much, too much, too much. Look at your attitude with the horizon. Glance at your instruments. Beautiful, keep it up, keep it back down. Very small changes. The second you start coming out of the turn, about 20 degrees, get rid of your back pressure. You have to get rid of your back pressure. You have to fight it now because you have up trim in there. You see how you have to fight the up, the right. down? You have to fight the up trim there? Not bad. I was within, pretty bad. close to within Not 100. Not bad. Yeah. All right, get rid of your back, get rid of your trim. Looking outside, get back down to 3,500. We'll do that to the left. Now, is it easier going left or right? It's easier going to the right. Right. I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, now go left? Yes, correct. All, All right. the way around, 360 degree turn. We're going to do a 360 degree turn and get the heck out of here. Whoops, it's the same direction. Okay, more back, more back pressure, two shots of trim. Look at your horizon on top, top of the compass. A touch of reverse aileron like you have. Keep the, keep the bank in there, keep the bank in there. Keep the back pressure in there, keep the bank in there. Oh, lose the bank, bank. Keep the back pressure in there, keep the bank in there, keep the back pressure. 
Now don't forget, you have to fight your trim. You have to keep that back pressure. In. You lose the horizon, you lose your back pressure, don't you? Yeah. Um, don't forget, you have to fight the trim as you come out of this. So you have to really push down hard. Start getting rid of all your back pressure the second you come out of the turn. Yep, you got to fight it more. That's now. What you can do is get rid of that just before you come out of it. Okay. Okay. Uh, but that's a lot of work. I'd rather you be concentrated on your your horizon and just force it at that point. Okay. Okay. Yep. We're gonna do slow flight. Okay. All what, right. What configuration do you do slow flight in? Uh, landing. Landing configuration, basically, right? Like a or as he, as as he requested. Uh, whatever he says. His configuration. Okay, we're going to do slow flight at 1,300 RPMs and full flaps. I'm sorry. Full flaps. You use whatever power setting you need. All That's right. stall. Now, before we do that, I want you to slow it up to 90 knots. Holding your altitude. So you pitch it up a little fast. Okay. By controls. All right. Now, controls. so... Back to our heading first. <laughs> okay. Pick something in front of you. Now, there's not much way out there. Now, the what, what, what you did was you pitched it up, then pulled off the power. Pull off right? the power first. Hey, look what happened. Okay. So, ye now let's think about the reasons why. The Also, the reason why is what if I give it flaps right now? What's going to happen? Uh, you're going to pitch up. You're going to climb. Absolutely. Let's prove that. All right. So, what we're doing is saying if we're going to add lift by giving it flaps or doing this, uh -huh. I want to lose lift first. Okay. okay. So now I'm going to lose lift first. Now I can pitch it up. Okay. okay. I got you. Yep. Right. Same thing here. When we come in for landing, we get rid of the power first. We're going to get rid of... Uh, start heading over here to Cape May. Too much rudder. Put the back pressure. I don't know where we stored. Okay. There's Cape May. Um, same thing. If I want to give it flaps, I lose lift first. Then I could give it. Then I could give it lift. Lift that compensates. They they cancel each other out. Okay, so you don't they really have to pull up or down right. at all. Okay, if you wanted to. All right. So just just I want you to understand it more than just do it. Okay. So if I give it power now, it's going to try to lift. Of course, it have ten degrees of flaps in there. Uh huh. All right. So I have to force it here until I'm ready to get rid of my flaps. Okay. Now, once I get rid of my flaps, of course, I can't keep this pressure here, or she's going to go down. Right. Okay, so I'm just... So what we do is lose lift here first, so we can put lift back into it. I got you. Okay, your control is 3,500. Okay. I'm heading to that away. <laughs> 220, right over top of Cape May. That's my ground reference point. Okay. Let's do 90, 90 knots. That's too much power, too much power, because we only want to go a little slower. No, no, no flaps. Oh, I thought you were no. getting to do the... No. Okay, just 90 knots. Then. This is before the slow flight, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, but bring it back to cruise. <laughs> this is a beef, This is just a little different speed, that's all. All right, so my controls. All right. All right, so we're, we're cruise. Okay. Cruising along. We're coming into the pattern. Okay. We're coming into the pattern. Okay. And we want to... I don't want to do this at 120 knots. Now, we're not 120 knots yet, but uh, we would be sooner or later, okay? So, I want to slow it up. All right, let me November pull back radio, some power. Skyhawk November 5, 8. Let me pull back some power, 2,000 RPMs, pitch it up a little bit. Okay? All right. All right. I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, if it doesn't work, I pull off a little more power. Pitch it up a little bit more. Two shots of up trim, power, pitch trim. Okay, there's 90 knots. Okay. Okay. Back to cruise. I have to pitch it down because I know it's going to climb because I gave it up trim. Your controls. All right. All right. So let's slow it up to 90 knots. Power back. 2,000 RPMs. 1,900 RPMs. Now I'm going to give you the number. The number is 1,900 RPMs. For 90 knots. For 90 knots. Pitch it up a little bit. There we go. What controls your airspeed? Pitch. Pitch. So. We, get, we have to get rid of our power so we don't climb if we give it a pitch up. So the, if you know your airplane, but the power is 1,900. Now, every day is a little different. It's cooler today, so we might need 1,850 today. Right. Looks like we uh, looks like 1,850, 1,900 is the number. Okay, give me a right-hand turn to north. All right. Holding 90 knots. Clear, right. Okay. Good. Now we're slower, so we don't need as quite a steep bank. 20 degree bank is fine. 
At 90 knots? Yep. That's a good pitch attitude, right? Yep. Holding your altitude? Ah, maybe a little more power in the turn. So, when we set the airplane up, we're saying, is that the proper pitch attitude? Yep, I'm holding my airspeed. Is that the proper power setting? Yep, I'm holding my altitude. I'm giving you a little extra, actually, because I know you want to keep on going, you're not, and you want to do this properly. Now, in this case, pitching it up a little bit got you a little slower and held altitude. So it would be more power? So in this or case, pitch, pitch did it both. Okay. Pitch gave you more slower speed and a little more lift. All right back up to 3,500. A little more power. If you give it power, you need more right rudder. You're looking inside. You're staring inside. If you give it more power, you need more right rudder because you have a high angle of attack. Right, 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 right. All right. Uh, let's slow it up a little bit more. Let's go to 70 knots. Let's try 1,700 RPMs and pitch it up more. 70. Good. Is that a good pitch attitude? How about your trim? Did you give it up trim? Uh, not yet. I was gonna... <laughs> there we go. So is that a good pitch attitude? I Absolutely. think that looks really good. That's perfect. Uh, is that a good power setting? Yep. Yep, it's holding altitude, right? All right, now let's do that with 10 degrees of flaps. Okay, now pull off a little power. Give me 10 degrees of flaps. Put the power back in there now. Maybe a little more power because we have extra drag now. Look at the right rudder we need. See the right rudder looking outside? Yep. When I fly, my eyes are right here all the time. I glance in here, right back here. All the time. Two things. Looking for the horizon, look at my attitude. Looking for traffic. Alright, now that's not a good now that's yeah, not a good going pitch. Too slow, right? Right. That's not a good pitch attitude, right? So what's gonna happen if I do this? I'm gonna go faster, but I'm losing lift. Power pitch trim. So power pitch trim. Right. Looking at that mark out there, that's my landmark. I'm always looking. Now, that's probably too much power. I'm sure it's going to be too much power, so I'm going to pull off, back off a little bit. Hey, your controls. Okay. And you say? My controls. So, yes, good. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, good. Let's so go 20 degrees. Down a little more, right? Yep. Up, up, up. Power, pitch trim. Power. Now you can pitch it down without losing altitude. Right. Okay. I got to get that straight yep. in my brain. Power pitch trim. Power pitch trim. Ninety-eight percent of everything you do will be power pitch trim. Good. Let's bring it all the way down to. Are we holding our heading. Let's. We will be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring it all, all right, the way down to now. Like I said, my eyes are right here all the time, scanning for traffic, looking at the instruments right here. Okay. Um. Let's bring it all the way down to forty-five knots and full flaps. Using our landmarks, there we go. White arc, you go right to full flaps. Keep pitching it up till you get to 45. The second you get under 50 knots, bring the power up to 1,900 RPMs. Using more right rudder as we add power, the torque and the high angle of attack is turning the airplane to the left. All right, there's 45. Good. Attaining altitude. And I'm pretty close to my heading. Good. How's your trim? Power pitch trim. And, well, trim's pretty good. Good. There we go. Let's get that stall buzzer warning coming on. Let's go to 40 knots. Whoop, now, now, power. Take off with a little power. Pitch it up to 40. And now bring the power back up. You didn't actually have to bring off that much power. I mean, just a little bit. Because right. we're only changing a little bit. About five minutes. Climb up a little bit. There we go. Stall buzzer. Oh, there's the torque. There's the torque. Looking outside. That's how I knew because I was looking right here. Right. You're looking right here. A lot of power. Let's climb. Full power. Let's climb. Right rudder. Okay, now 50 feet, maybe 20 feet before you get there. 50 to 20. Start backing off on the power so we don't climb through. We have the momentum of the airplane. We have to stop. Back power back. 1900 RPMs. Don't. Right rudder looking outside. Don't you want stare. to be at 40 still? Yes. Power back. 1900. Hold. I think it's on the verge of falling. <laughs> that, if you read the book, that's where it's supposed to be. Right here. 
So look at the right rudder we're holding in there, right? Right. Okay, give me a right hand turn to zero six zero. Right hand turn zero six zero. Not too much now. We're very slow here. Right. right at stall, right? Not too much power. Not too much power. Nineteen hundred. Don't turn with all rudder. Take out. I'll take out some of that rudder. Don't turn with all rudder. Don't overbank. Top, take off a little power. Bring it back down. Stall buzzer warning. I like it. He will love that. But 45 is fine. Good. Okay, back to cruise for me. Watch your altitude. Now, hold off on the power. Pitch it down a little bit first. Now give it full power. We want to lose a little altitude there, right? Right. That's why we were held off, held off on the power. Atlantic City, that's our landmark. Last, build up a little more airspeed first because the last 10 degrees of flaps, when you take them off, lose a lot of lift. Right. Now bring them all the way up. So now you can fine tune your trim. Atlantic City, 060. Actually the bay, the bay of Atlantic City. <laughs> Now, pull off some power. Help it get back down. I'm pushing you a little bit more. Yeah, no, it's good. Because you're going to be a better pilot. Look at this, all this up trim in there. That's the problem. Power pitch trim, right? There we go. They sell airplanes with no trim? <laughs> Absolutely not. I wouldn't want an airplane without trim. <laughs> okay, good. Power off stall. Okay. okay, what configuration do we power all stall in? Um, it would be full flats, well, whatever he wants, right? <laughs> <laughs> but what I figure he'll want. <laughs> Wait, upside down checklist. <laughs> all right, whatever he wants, okay? Power all stall, so we're gonna do full flaps, 1300 RPMs. Okay. You can lose or gain altitude, because you are gonna get lose or gain altitude, right? But gotta maintain heading. Must maintain heading. How are we doing with landing city's airspace? We're good. Uh, we're still outside of it. We're good. So far. I wouldn't do any more this way after that, this. Whenever. You can see the airport from Yes, here? that's it right there, yeah. Oh, wow. The runway 4 and 2-2. Uh, two -two. Uh, he said 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> All right, now, let's just take a look around. We did a lot of traveling. With that clearing turn over there wasn't the same here. Let's get right. let's set our airplane up. Landing. Let's throw a landing light on since we're near Landing City, near another airport. Here should be a Woodbine around here somewhere, right? Right there. Good. And let's enrich it a little bit. Make sure it's rich. Okay, good. All right, power off stall. All the way, Rich. Now nah, let's leave it lean a little bit. Okay. With him, always Rich. Power off stall. Set it up like you're coming in for a landing, correct? Right. So, 70 you know, knots or so, 80 like knots. Just like we were just doing, pull off some power. Exactly. 10 degrees. In the white, 20. Good, now start pitching it down like you're coming in for a landing. Just like you're coming in for a landing. Full flaps. 1,300 RPMs, just like he said. All right. Pitch it up and stall it. No aileron door in the stall, okay? 1300, you said? 1300. No aileron door in the stall, okay? Right, I'll just spin. All right, pitch it up. Hold on, I'm not on. Um... Okay, right. looking outside now, looking outside. Touch your right rudder as a... Uh... Don't look at your ball now, looking outside. Pitch it up, pitch it up. Brake, right rudder. Oh, no aileron, right? Right, right. rudder, stomp on the rudder. Now pitch it up, work, work off your flaps right away. Anytime I give it full power, I work off my flaps. There's no reason, never a reason, climbing out of this, right? Bring your flaps off 10 degrees in increments of 10 degrees. Right, okay. There's never a reason to have full power and full flaps. Okay, never a reason. Okay, turn around, let's go to 210. Give me a right hand turn to 210, 3,500. You can work off some power, help yourself get back down. If it, th all this isn't going to sink in today, okay, because I'm really giving you a lot. Okay, I wasn't sure if maybe I haven't been paying attention the last times <laughs> or what. <laughs> Power pitch trip, you should have known. That was from day oh, yeah, one. I know that, yeah. <laughs> I'm giving you a lot because uh, you're going to be better at this. All right, we're going to do a departure stall. Okay, that's going a little bit more. My, my mistake, 240. Do a departure stall, or it's called a power on stall now, I'm sorry. Um, what configuration do we do this in? Power on stall yes. is whatever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't say anything, do it in, um, just do it with no flaps, no flaps and uh, full power. 
Okay. okay. No flaps, full power. Work off the power, pitch it up to a 70 or 80 knots, then add full power. Where's our landmark over there? And we're not going to be able to see anything over here, so we have to know what we're looking for over here, okay? Right. No, nothing in front of us, you mean? Correct. Because we're, we're, uh, we're going to have the nose pitched way up. Okay. So we have to look over there. Okay, now, slow it up. Pitch controls our airspeed, right? I thought it was full power. It will be. Oh, okay. In the beginning here, we just slow it up. Why'd you do it in the sun? <laughs> All right, now add full power, pitch it up, right rudder, because we have a lot of torque here. A little high angle of attack, a lot of torque. Not too much. Looking outside. Yeah. Looking outside. You'll see the nose go one left or right. Touch more rudder. You as we stall it? Yep. Touch more rudder. Did we do this yet? Yeah. Touch more rudder. Not too much. Not too much. Looking outside. As soon as she breaks, you have to pitch it down a level attitude. A little more rudder. A little more rudder. A little more rudder. Not too much. Not too much. There's your break. Right there. Right there. Pitch it back up. Climb out of this. Okay. Not bad at all. Yeah, Good. I like that. Not Level off of your 4,000. Held your heading right on the money. You know why? You're looking outside. Yeah, I everybody keep my eyes out. Everybody that's looking inside here loses their heading. That attitude's no good. That's it, help you pull the power off. Now, we always try to build up airspeed with full power. But if we're high, let's pull off a little power, get it back down, then we can get more power in there. Now power back up. Okay, give me a radiant turn to 330. Right. Okay. Hold your altitude. Hold your altitude. What configuration does he want this in? Oh no, only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's see. Three three zero. I'm not tell you. Sorry. Make it three hundred. Just make it three hundred. That's my mistake. Low flight stalls. Diversion. We're gonna do steep turns. We did okay. Good work. Uh. We'll do that on the way home. Okay, we lost our engine. What do you do? Playing right there. <laughs> All right, I'll go with that. Woodbine. So it's ABC, airspeed, best field, and cockpit. Right? Is yes. Cockpit? Okay. Airspeed, best field, and cockpit. What's your best airspeed? Especially uh, since you went 70. Especially like 68. Good. Pitch it up. Do a lot of up trim. A lot of up trim. Especially since you want to travel a little distance here. Now, the problem with wood mining, we're facing into the wind. Right. So it's going to be a struggle getting there and getting into the field. Well, would you rather go... So I th well, we have enough altitude, we should make it. Let's sure. Let's right? give it a, this will teach you. This will be a good lesson here, rather than... The exact procedures is he wants to get over a field and go around it. But hey, if I have an airport there, right? Right. I could come on here and check my actual distance from there. We, we're not going to have time for that because we didn't, we didn't do anything yet. Got your 68. Lots of up trim. Now, cockpit. What's your cockpit? Um, it, well, maintaining airspeed is really probably the most uh, important. Restart. Yeah. Restart. And rest and oh, yeah, and restart. Yeah, restart your engine. Now on the down one leg for runway 32 Ocean City, uh, approaching the water tower. Okay. Uh, Sorry, I want to land on 3-1. Yes. That way I'll be into the wind. If you can, get over it and spiral around it, okay? Right. We had four, I mean, you know what? We had 4,000, so yeah, we probably can do all this. Woodbine traffic. Anybody in the pattern at Woodbine? All right. Uh, cockpit. Start here. Two things. One, two. Three. Push it all the way in. Four. Check. Try check your, start it. Put your pump on. Right. Fuel pump. Five. Check your, just try to start it, or if it's, make sure mags are on both. Okay, looks like we'll have enough, plenty of time to go around and set up for a downwind on 3-1. Okay. Keep in mind what the winds are doing, Theater. Pretty strong out of the northwest here. This is actually better for you than the real procedures, because this is real life. Right. Now, what I would probably try to do, instead of doing what we're doing, if we didn't have the time, yeah, but we can do, we can go around it. But if we didn't have the time, just get it in like this. Slip it in, guess turns, whatever. We, but that takes a lot of experience. Right. I was just curious, could you do like a few spiral turns here? Yes, that's what you're going to do. In? I mean, instead yes. of going around the airport. 
Um, just to no, uh, the best thing is not to do that because that's hard to do. It's hard to judge when to come out and when to set it up. Okay. This is much easier to set it up this way. You want 1,500 on your downwind Try leg, to get right? whatever it takes, 1,500 foot on down. Does that mean if down. I cut midfield across, right? Yep, absolutely. Now, with the wind hitting us like and this, it's probably helping us. Well, it's hurting us in this case because we, we can't glide as far. Oh. Oh, right. Uh, so we might have to do that. Okay, so we can't get it started, so let's shut all that off. Off, off, right. off, off, off. Okay, open the door. D is for doors. A, B, C, D is for doors. I always added a D onto it. Okay. D is for open the doors. Jam something in it so it doesn't jam shut. Actually, more the clipboard or something. Or your hand. <laughs> your, your, your passenger's hand. <laughs> well, here we are at 2,000, and we're not even at the threshold yet. That's all right. Start, kind of get an angle like that and swing around. But get an angle like that. Oh, you're, you're good. You're good. We're by traffic. Give a Skyhawk overhead, 2,000 feet, simulated engine out for 3-1. Using left rudder whenever descending, you had it in there. You were good. I would start getting around there. We need 1,500 foot. Skyhawk 107, Mike Echo, turning left base. One way 32, number two beyond the Seneca. Not bad. You see how hard it was to get that little three or four miles with the wind facing into the wind? Right. That's one of the reasons you don't want to pick something unless you're sure. Now let's go this way a little bit, just to just to give us a little more room to turn around, right? Okay. Now the problem with this is we just lost the airport, as long as you can see it. Uh, I see it. All right, good. They say that horse farm was for sale right there. Oh yeah? Pretty expensive. All right, start your flaps. Don't go out too far because we have a... We're gonna have a headwind on final. But don't get it too close. We wanna land on the numbers, this is too close. This is way too close. A little too close. See, it's about the same as a 45 degree angle, except we're a lot closer to the airport, right? Right. Okay, you can start your turn. Probably still too close, but I'd rather slip it in. Right, right. And hit the trees before the... A lot of trees around here. Yep, <laughs> that's for sure. If we have it made, actually try not to hit too any more flaps unless you're on final. Don't square it up. We don't square this up. Just kind of loop it around. Okay. All right, 20 degrees of flaps, we have it made. Woodbine traffic, you have a Skyhawk turning final 3-1, simulated engine out. Set in for left track, 3-2. All right, so... Good, let's slip it in a little bit. Now, let's get the nose out of the way first. What I want you to do is get the nose out of the way first. Now drop the wing on the other side. Do you have a rudder in? Yes, you stopped okay. the rudder, yep. I wasn't sure if you did or... Just push your nose down so we don't lose it here. We don't want to spire. We don't want to spin here, right? Right. We are dead if we spin here. Full flaps now. Keep the nose down even more. Not yet. Don't take it out yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, take it all out. Very nice. Good job. Just do you want to turn a little early? Let's concentrate on landing now. A little bit of right rudder here. Right rudder. Right rudder. Right rudder. Oh, oh, oh. So much trim in there. That's what's messing me up. Oh, oh, easy. All right, let's do a short field takeoff out of here. Oh, okay. Hey, your controls. All right. Take a look at it. it tri trim okay? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, short feel. Holding okay. the brakes. And Get rid of your trim. Agree. You okay, good. Trim's out. Go. Hold it on the ground to 55. A little back pressure. Just a little back pressure. 50. 
Andrews 55, right Right before the end of the runway. Plenty. 55 to 60 knots, right? Remember, round everything off, take off, landing, sure it feels 60 knots. Right, that was our slowest airspeed. I think yep, and actually you can go 55 here, but 60 is fine. If you absolutely had to get off in a short field, we could figure out exact numbers, exact distances, exact density altitude, right? Right. Not bad, good flying. You wouldn't want to go around and since we're here and try a yeah. uh, short, soft, short field. Tall field or short field? Yeah, short, oh, short let's field. do this. Hold 900 feet. This is a left pattern here, right? Correct. Alright, I should have, should know that. <laughs> Especially since you looked it up. If you, if you would have told me you didn't look it up, I would I, uh, I wrote it down. <laughs> There's a big L on my paperwork. <laughs> Feels funny. Guess not, it was just in my head. It's the wind, probably. Yeah, it is a little windy. Do the radio, or you want me yeah, to? Yeah, I'll take care of it. Okay. You want a minute? Oh, I yeah, brought sure. them just for you. Oh, thanks. That was nice <laughs> of you. Echo on 45. All right, now start slowing it up. For, uh, ramp so, power pitch trim right here is your slow flight. We started off with 90 right. nuts. So, now pull power off, nose up a little bit. Yeah. And then trim it for this attitude. Give it a one shot of up trim. Take a look under your wing. Make sure there's nobody coming in there. Take a look under my wing. A little close to the runway. Yeah, I'll have to take it out. Let's go to right a little bit. Woodbine, traffic, Skyhawks, left downwind, 3 1, Woodbine. Short field, now I want to put it on the numbers, okay? Yep. Alright, little landing checklist pre. Extra's rich, landing lights on, good. What airspeed on final? 70. 65. 60, and add five knots off for the win. Okay, 65. What did you say, 65? 65. 65, okay. 65, yep. Don't turn with all rudder. You're you cross control in there, see yep. that? Right. You don't want to cross control. Now I want to go this way. A little bit of a crosswind, maybe. A little bit. Got the windsock over there. This kind of wind, don't take off all your power. Unless you absolutely have to. Okay. Don't go any slower than 60. So 65 is our number, but no slower than 60. Start working off some power. Work off. No, no, no. Work off power. Off. Keep the nose down. Work off like power. Work off power. More right rudder here. Good flaps up. That's one, pretty close to on the numbers. That was pretty good. Easily could have made, you could have actually made that tax taxi way over there if we would have jammed on our brakes a lot. Right. Good. Let's do another sort of short field takeoff. Nice job. That was really nice. Thank you. Really pretty. Went pretty well. But nice. It's a nice little airport. Yeah, it's neat. Short field. Short field. All right. That loose. All right. There we go, 10 degrees flaps. Rich. Full 
power, everything's green and happy. All right. Okay. Right rudder. Then as you rotate, more right rudder, a little more right rudder. 50. Come on. There, 60. That was a real nice short field landing. Now, it's it's a little easier with wind because the wind just holds you up. Right. With no wind, you really have to get that power off very early, early like we did a, what was it, Spitfire? Or Hamilton? Uh, Spitfire. Spitfire. All right, stay on this heading. And there we go. Nice job. Stay on this heading and throw in on your autopilot. I will take the controls. All right. Your I'm sorry. Controls. I'll be your autopilot. Good friction lock that. Nice. Good. Let's do a little climb, cruise climb checklist. Landing light off. All right. Off. I'm going to lean us out a little bit. Okay, you want the navs off? I had them on too. You can leave them on. We're getting near night here. All right. Um, uh, oil pressure temperature? Green and green. Good. Now, DG against our compass, we can't really check on a climb, but we can see that it's close. See if it's close, right? We can't be exact here. Yeah. For instance, if it read uh, south, <laughs> I'd adjust a little bit. Right. But I can't get it accurate here in a climb. Okay. Your controls. I want a right. constant airspeed climb. All right, so we're going to stay at 90 knots. Trim it from 90 knots. Pitch controls your airspeed. Now, full power, so that can't do anything anyway. Oh, you know, yeah. We just do use that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so pitch controls your airspeed. You want a little air in here. Um, I'm actually right? comfortable, yeah. Good. Keeping your skin going. If you ever accidentally bust in the clouds, keep your skin going. That's a very that's the biggest key. Everybody wants to look outside and say, "What's going on? Oh, this is cool!" And their airplane's upside down. Right. All right. So keep your skin going, and don't fixate on any one instrument. Looking good today, looking real good. I can see you're thinking about the maneuvers. Yeah, I've been trying to study up on them a little bit. The biggest thing people do is they don't think about the next flight. They, they come here and they didn't... didn't you got to think how you're going to get into maneuvers, how do you get out of maneuvers, what is the what is the procedures during the maneuver, um, and they really take a longer time. You jump, you jump, you had a big jump from last week to this week. You notice that? I think so, yeah, because just like kind of debriefed myself. Good, that's exactly it. Got up nice and early. That's, well, a, that's exactly it. Nine o'clock, I guess you consider that early for me. <laughs> that's your experience from A and P, you know? Yeah, probably, yeah. About halfway down? I forgot, 3,000. Yeah. Good. Right there. Still climbing, now so the we're good. 90 knots is done, right? Correct. Okay. Good. Keep the power in there. Keep the power in there. Okay. Halfway down again. Keep a little climb in there, confirm it's climbing. Building up airspeed. So by the time you get to your altitude, you're also at your airspeed. All the way down now. Right there, see how little I pushed it to get it all the way down? Yep. You're at your airspeed, power back. Power back to normal cruise. Okay, cruise checklist. We already did a climb checklist, so it's pretty much the same, right? Cruise checklist is landing lights off. Take care of the airplane the first, set your off. trim. Get your airplane level. Take care of your airplane always first. Are you, you holding any? You're not holding right rudder. Right? No, it feels like it Some, wants to. Sometimes if you give right. a little, a little help to level off, you know, to keep get the rudder level. Okay. Um, okay, good. Oh, a little yeah. too low of a power setting, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Don't bust that altitude. What's the maximum altitude you can bust? 100. 100 feet plus or minus. What's the maximum heading you could lose or bust? 10. 10. 10 degrees plus or minus. It 
What's our ground speed? 76. We have a pretty good whopping wind. headwind. True airspeed, the airplane always flies at true airspeed. Even if we have a headwind, everybody says, oh, well, that's holding up my airspeed. Look, it's only 100 knots. No, that's your indicator. Now, you have to adjust this, the pressure altitude. If you want to read your true airspeed. So let's do that. Throw your autopilot on. Put heading. Hit altitude. When you hit altitude... Oh, did you forget to set that in there? I don't think yeah, so. I, I, don't, I must I have think so. tattle tattletailed on me. <laughs> going to be a loud beep. Good. What is the altimeter setting? It was 3027. All right, so it was, pretty, it was pretty good anyway. Good, so no matter... That would help to turn it on. Okay. Let it turn back to its heading. So, no matter what altitude you have set in here, it holds the altitude you're sitting at at the moment. Right. Okay? So it will hold to 3,040. Hit this twice. This goes down 20 feet every time you hit it. Hit it twice. It will go down 20 feet every time. So it should go down to 3,000 feet. Holding your heading. Confirm everything's working the way it's supposed to work. Right. We're going back down, so that's good. Okay. Um, come over here, look at your temperature in Celsius. Now, you see the altitude? Match it up with, now this is plus side over here. Wow. Match it up with your your temperature. And we're at zero, look at that. At zero. Put your altitude, the altitude in the white. At, at, at the zero? 3,000, yes, and then match it up with zero. Take a look at your airplane, make sure it's doing everything the autopilot's supposed to do. Yep. Good, back to zero and okay okay the white down here is your true airspeed oh okay that's your true airspeed that's how fast we're flying along doesn't mean that's how fast we're flying over the ground because ten. good so we have about a 20 or a 30 knot uh headwind and they said it was about 26 or 27 so yeah that's Makes exactly sense. right okay uh that's how we find our true airspeed uh indicated as you get higher, everything in the exact same configuration as it is now, uh -huh. this will start reading lower and lower because the air is less dense going through the pitot tube because it, it thinks it's reading at sea level. Okay. So if we were at 9,000 feet, this would be reading oh, 95 knots right now. Even okay. though that would read the same true and read the same uh, ground speed. Huh. All right. Makes sense. And look at this. This bumped up to 80, 86 giving us about 26 knot headwind, 27 knot headwind. Perfect, huh? Yeah. All right, let's take it off autopilot. Remind your passengers. Can it be a beep? <laughs> All right, hold your heading, hold your altitude. The autopilot adjusts your trim, right? Yes. So oh. it should be right I on the money. Like I should be able to just grab it. Right. George hasn't been working up to par lately, so uh, getting a little old, so. Oh, is that right? Yes, keep an eye on him. Every so often he screws up, but. Guy was telling us some stories, airline pilot, before he came in. He says, this, the couple attendants uh, were new. When they're new, they pick on him, I guess. Uh-huh. So he told this one girl, he says, we need a little, capture a little air for the, the AP. You heard that? You heard I've heard of, I, if I think I know where you're going, an air sample from the back of the cabin. Yeah, so she's yeah. running around with a plastic bag, and she's running around ca capturing all this air. <laughs> Just give it to the uh, the maintenance guy when we get back, and he hands her, and the guy knows because he's had it hung. She hands him the bag, says, this is the <laughs> <laughs> What else did she say? he say? So another one, um, he says, um, and I can't remember what he was talking about, some air vent or something. He says, every time you flush the toilet in the back, it opens up this air vent. You know, she says, would you, so he's, he says, would you mind going to open up, flush the toilet? So we get this air vent open. She flushes the toilet. He says, whoa, 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 make sure you're not over houses when you flush the toilet. Oh, so it's pretty funny. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I had a fun project uh, the other night. I'd change it. It's called an ASM, air separation module. Okay. It's this big filter that's under the belly of the airplane that takes the oxygen out of the fuel tanks. It's a fuel nerding system. Oh, really? And fills it with uh, nitrogen. Oh, okay. It was kind of interesting. Is that your to first work time on. doing it? Or? First time changing the filter. Yeah, I kept getting a warning for degraded performance. So. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, ready and turn to north, please. And just lift up your wing a little bit. Ask. Uh, traffic is good. Right aileron, right rudder pedal. Did you forget about your rudder pedal there? I think I have rudder. More, a little more rudder pedal. Four. There we go. Now neutralize everything. Just about a 15 degree bank. Standard rate turn. So we relax all that back pressure the second we start coming out of the turn. It's very little back pressure because it's, it's a shallow bank. And you start a lot later before you get to north, right? Right. Because you're such a shallow bank, we're moving so slow. You used to start five degrees before you get there. Rather I than started a little early. <laughs> hey, what's happening here? What's going on? Uh, I don't know. Maybe an updraft. Keep your scan going. Do not fixate, right? Don't fixate there just because that's what's happening. You have to keep your scan going on all six instruments. Everybody's dancing Middle to the traffic. same music. Skyhawk, November 582 Lima Papa. So fix it. Ten miles <laughs> east, southeast. And that's not good. Keep your scan going. Don't yeah. fixate. Amazing. You take your eyes off literally for like a second yep. and you're messed up. Yep. How are we doing with, with uh, Philly's airspace? Uh, we're clear. We're clear. We're right between them, right? Yep. Okay, turn back to 300. 300. Zero, zero. Traffic is good. Keep an eye on your altitimeter while you're doing all this, right? You have to see if you're holding enough back pressure, which you're not. A little more back pressure, don't overbank. 15 degree bank. Boy, I got you looking over here, didn't I? Yeah, you got me all over the place. <laughs> Keep that scan going. That's the whole this is all about. If you ever jump into the clouds, keep your scan going. Try to figure out if it's a thunderstorm. Fly straight through it. Don't turn around. Right. If you think it's clear behind you, nice shallow bank, half standard return, get around and go back out of it. But you don't want to do that unless you're sure you can do it. Stick your autopilot on. Let it do all the work, right? Right. If you hit this, it goes right to roll, right? Keeps the wings level. Okay. Right? Keep your scan going. Um, and then what would you do at that point? If I was in the cloud? Yeah, let's say you can't get out of them and you don't think it's a good idea to turn around and... Contact uh, approach for yeah, Absolutely, you're absolutely. Contact as nearest approach. If you can't, if you don't know what it is, 121.5, right? Right. Emergency frequency. I should have asked that instead of told you that. Who would you call it? Contact around here near Millville? Probably Atlantic City. Atlantic City. What's the frequency? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'd have to look it up. All right, I'd like you to memorize that. That's smart to memorize. 123.7. Oh, okay. All right, 24.6. Um, your, your age and my age, you're 24, I'm 60. Are I'm you? Not, I'm not 60 and you're not 24. Okay. Well, I am 24. But. All right, here we go. 24.6. <laughs> I'm not 60. Oh, okay. I'm getting there, but I'm not yet. Your age and my age, 24.6. 24.60. Um I should have used Jeff's age, darn it. We could have mailed made fun of him when we got back. <laughs> Why is he 60 now? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could have made fun of him and said he looked like it. All right, left hand turn. 210, please. 210. Actually, make it 240. That's fine. I'm sorry. All right. All right. We're good. good. Hold your altitude. Hold your heading. Hold your standard rate turn. Keep your scan going on all six instruments. Too much back pressure. Very little back pressure. Standard rate turn. Take it out of the bank. Take it out of the bank. Too much bank. 15 degree bank, right? 15 to 17. Ah, difficult. We're gonna practice a few turns here. I want you to get a hang of hang of that hang of that. Um, do you have a simulator by any chance, or? Yeah. All right, practice this. I will. Get on your computer and practice it. Once we start IFR, is this kind of like how you start this it? Is, this is how you start it and finish it. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is your basics of it right here. Um, and you'll be under the hood the whole time. You forget what it's like to look outside. <laughs> I tell you, don't stare at your instruments. Don't tell your, start, stare at your instruments and then for, we get under private, IFR. Yeah. <laughs> stare at your instruments. Stare at your instruments. <laughs> okay, 360, 360 degree turn to the right all the way back around to this heading right here. 
Okay. Holding altitude. You want to look or is it We clear? are good. All right. Standard rate. Standard rate. Now, you Which and is 15 degrees? 15 to 17, no so that's more. 10, 15 is the, well, 20 is that next mark. Right, right, so right between them. You and Mike Lear ought to hook up once, uh, once, uh, probably not the right wording, hook up, but uh, you ought to, guys ought to hook <laughs> I up. I know what you mean, meet up. <laughs> <laughs> um, once you get your license and then do some instrument practice with him, and he wants to do some with you, so. Yeah. As a matter cool. of fact, when he went on the, his, uh, when he went on Facebook today, he asked anybody want to go up for a flight. So ah. he loves people to fly with him. You fly one place, he flies the other back. You know. Yeah, that'd be cool. He's thinking about getting his his own plane too. Did I tell you this already? Is he? Yeah. So am I. Are you really? And so is uh, about three other people. Yeah, everybody is. Well, there we go now. <laughs> Actually, I mean, start, really, why don't I you was kind of thinking about why it. Why don't you start a club? He lives in Cape May. You live in May's Landing. Put it in Woodbine. Yeah. Think about starting a club. That would be really cool. Because I, I actually, Tad it really is, he claims to be really interested. So. Good, 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 good. Oh, well, there we go. He'd probably want to keep it in Millville, but uh, hey, that might be all right for you. I don't know. I don't care. Millville's fine. I must have this trimmed, like, perfectly or yeah, something. Yeah, you, you must be keeping your scan moving, too, right? Yeah, keep talking, because whatever's happening, <laughs> it's going right for, for some reason. How long will it take to do this turn from start to finish? Two minutes. Two minutes. Tells you right there, right? In case you forget with him. All right. What kind of instrument is this? Turn coordinator. Good. What, what electric or gyro? Electric gyro? Uh, vacuum driven gyro? Whatever. Is it a gyro at all? Tells um, you right up here. Electric. 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 Oh. <laughs> electric driven gyro. Okay. Obviously DC. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, because it says DC? Yeah, it is DC, but isn't that supposed to be... No, so it would uh, run uh, off the battery then, right? Yeah, uh, it, it, that is correct. I, I keep getting AC and DC mixed up again. All right. Okay. Good. What kind of va vac... Uh, sorry, I told you. Vacuum. vacuum right? <laughs> they tell you right on there, right? Right. In case you get a brain fart with them, just read it. Right. That's the longest term I've ever experienced them. <laughs> I, I know, and I'm traffic. starting to mess up my altitude right <laughs> at the end. <laughs> okay, unusual attitudes. You want to think about them real quick before we do them? You want to tell me, or how do you recover from each one? Um, airspeed indicator is my number one Good, we look up and see what our inner, inner, airspeed indicator is doing. If, it get, if it's getting faster, 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 we're going down. Right. Getting slower, 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 we're going up. Uh -huh. How do you recover from an up, unusual attitude? Uh, power, pitch, trim. Per <laughs> power and pitch. Power, pitch, wings level. And level. <laughs> trim doesn't have anything to do with it. Okay. Uh, how do you recover from a down, unusual attitude? Uh, pull the power off, level the wings, and pull up. Good, perfect. Because if we're going down, we need level wings. Right. If we're going up, we need airspeed. Right. Okay, good. My controls, put your head down, close your eyes. All right. And when I tell you, recover. This is probably your favorite thing to do to people, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> recover, please. Your, your control. Use your power off. Do you to power off? You see what happened at that airspeed indicator? Yeah, that's why. Overspeed almost. Well, yellow. Yeah, that's why we get that airspeed off. Slower up. Okay, my controls, let's try it again. Okay. You say your controls? Your controls. Okay, thank you. That's very important to him, okay? Um, yeah, and especially the, if you the, want to go on, like I do, commercial and yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely, you know? absolutely. You want to get used to it. Your controls? All right. Uh, you level the wings before you pitch the down. Well, I kind of did it simultaneously, uh, didn't I? Yeah, you held the nose up a little too. But oh. the most important thing is pitch it down, get that get that wing, uh, nose down, okay? Right. Pitch it down. Power. Let's try that again. Okay. My controls. Your controls. Put them in the same time. Push yoke and power in at the same time. Okay. If it's going up, yoke and power at the same time. All right, your controls recover. That's it. There we go. 
We need airspeed. We have to get airspeed. That's all we're concerned right. with. Okay, so level now off now. Level off. Good. I, just, I literally felt like I was going upside down. <laughs> it's amazing, I feel, with your eyes closed. Yeah. It's, 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 and a good feeling is, that's a good feeling because don't trust your senses. Right. You cannot trust your senses. Okay, my controls. Pull All out right. your sectional, please, and pinpoint me out with, from two VORs. Trying okay. to figure out where the heck we are. I, I got lost here. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I could use this, right? No. Or not? No. No? Okay. Because I asked you to do it from two VORs. Okay. I didn't really get lost. <laughs> when I first started instructing, I used to get up in the air. We didn't have the bay and all that. And I started doing all these maneuvers. I was like, where the heck am I? Oh, you would, huh? <laughs> okay. When I first started instructing. Well, we took off out of Woodbine, so we know we're... Which heading did we fly out of Woodbine? Runway heading. Three... What was it? Three one? Yeah. So, let's say if we never turned from there, that's almost north. No, well, sort of. Three, there's three, three. So we'd be headed this way towards Millville. Right? Yep, exactly okay. right. So I'll tune into Cedar Lake first. 115.2. 115. Are you, you're flying the airplane, Yes, right? I got the country. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have to go back down. 115.2. Bring that over to the active. And I need to get my from heading. From radio, bear, radio. For, uh, from radio, from Cedar Lake. Okay, here we go. From. Yeah, don't try to be too accurate here. Okay, South we're moving anyway. Exactly, right? we're moving. Southwest is good. Okay. 220, southwest. Let's call it, yeah, 220. Get a pencil here. Give me a line from that sucker. And don't make it a nice pointy line. Give me a line. I want, I want a line like this. All right? Okay, from the, from the VOR. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what did I say? 220. 220. Uh, and just southwest. We don't have to be exact. We're just trying to figure out where we so generally are. Over here somewhere. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Traffic, and then now go, get one from, uh, is that too far away, probably? Probably too far away, probably could be a little closer. I could go here. It's too, too much on a straight line, we don't yeah. want to straight How about line. here? Yep, that's better. The aisle, the 114.8. I, could I just use the yep. same one again, right? Yep. 114.8. Yep, you can use the same eight. one, sure. I want a from that one. Well, we figured it's... Here we go, good. Somewhere's northwest, here, right? right? Nice job. Same general direction from Wood Woodbine. There we go, nice. I like that. that Maybe 340? 340 three, northwest? No, three, northwest. 320, right? Yep, 320, three, 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 three. So, like, here somewhere. Uh, is that, near Vineland. Is that northwest? Should be, right? 320? Yeah, where's the uh, three three? There's so north the three three zero. Yep, down way about there. Yeah, more like uh, that. So yeah. over Bridgeton or near Bridgeton, maybe. Yeah, not about quite there. that far, but yeah. All right, you can take off your foggles. Not quite that far. We we're a little more south right in here. And oh, okay. So so Wood Millville should be right behind us. That's Bridgeton back there. No, no Bridgeton's actually back there. It's you, you went a little too far. You went a little. You didn't go northwest from here. Oh, okay. Northwest would be more here. But well, I you could have been more specific. Yeah, if, I... yeah, if you if you really needed to be that specific, you could have. Right. Okay, but you know you got your general general idea. We're close, yeah. So Good. Millville's behind us? Yes. Right, okay. All right, cool. so let's turn around, go to Millville. And, uh... Seven. Okay. Got to take it off autopilot. And we're going to stay at 3,000. We'll do another simulated engine out. That's a, a sand plant? Yeah, they're uh, sand plants, yeah. What do they, they sell they, sand? Yeah, they, they, um, you see that boat in the middle of the plant, the water? Uh, sorry. And then that pipe uh, going away. Oh, the barge thing, yeah. Yeah, so they, that's a barge, is it? 
and they uh, pop the sand out to the to the, and then back over it around and put it on dump trucks. Clean it out, fine tune it. Just turn what, over for like it. golf courses and stuff. Where no, do you no, want to no, go towards Melville? Yeah. Oh, I'm, go home. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, for anything, uh, glass. They say this is real good glass. Oh, is that why Millville was Glass Town? Yeah. That's one of the reasons. There's, that's, there's so many sand plants around Millville. Three, two, no. Um. What else? Uh, making cement and all that stuff. Oh, okay. They ship a lot to Pennsylvania because they don't have great sand out there. I used to deliver it. That's how I know all that. Oh, did you? Yeah. Are you a dump truck driver? Yeah. Before I became a professional pilot and making no money. You could do what you love or you could make money. Yep. It would be nice to combine the two. Yeah. And you know what? Someday you might. But you know what happens when you get to the airlines? It's not what you love anymore. It's push a button. It's push a button. <laughs> it's a job. Ask any airline pilot. Yeah, well, the young guys still love it. And you talk to them. They good. Say, oh, this is the best job in the world. All right. <laughs> well, it's still a good job. It just... You have to remember, what do you do for five hours to ten hours, eight hours, sitting here for eight hours? You have to think about that. Can you do that? And a lot of people can. Yeah. Crap for the win, right? Yep. Um, me, I, I could not sit here for eight hours. I, I just can't do it. This is okay for me because, well, I'm just instructing, but it's one hour, one hour and a half at a time, two hours back, you uh -huh. know. Because I did that at the Learjets, you know that, right? Right. Yeah, it was just horrible to me. Work crap. Okay, when you get a chance, give Millville a call. Tell them what we're doing. We're going to come overhead, do a simulated engine out. Um, we're 3 2. Tell them you're, how far do you think you are to the south? How far do you think you are? I don't know, 10 miles? 20 miles? Um, <laughs> What's this? 30? <laughs> <laughs> about 10, I would guess. That's about 5. Okay. Six, maybe. Uh, now, bring this, hit, hit this until it turns into a joystick. See it? See it turn into a joystick? Oh, and then you can click on Millville, Good. right? Yeah, bring it over to Millville. Good. And I believe, oh, boy, you know what? There's your bearing to get there and your distance 3.5 now. Okay, oh, okay. Cool. All right, so I'll let so him know. Hit re reset, reset stick, hold your altitude. Are we going to be, we're going to be entering the pattern we're for gonna simulated do it. engine yes. out or what? Yes. We have a little uh, radio Skyhawk Zero Bravo Sierra. Cool. Oh, we want to get Zero advisories, radio. right? Zero Bravo Sierra is like uh, advisories, please, rendering the pattern about uh, two miles to the south. I should have told him we're doing the simulator. Will you tell him now? 3109 are favoring runway 32, the altimeter is 3032. Traffic skyhawk in the pattern, practicing, practicing touch and go, then advise entering the pattern. Roger that, and uh, we're going to be forming a simulated engine out. We'll advise when we're uh, entering the pattern. 32. Good. Those are above here, Roger. Anytime you talk to anybody the first time, your whole call sign. The first time they need to know your whole call what sign. What did I say? Zero by zero. Oh, did I? Oh, okay. Well, he probably does know the airplane. Well, though, he right? does, but... Uh, I, but I know it's not yeah, the point. It's not, yeah. not everybody down there is, is always... No, traffic to Leo Papa's turning left downwind. Are we 3-2? Well, all right, he's down. Okay, let's lose the engine. I don't see him, though, do you? No, we'll look for him once we get down. Oh, I see. No, it's a car. What's the first thing we do? A, airspeed. Now, he said he's on downwind. He's over here somewhere. Airspeed, 68 knots. This time, let's hold 68 knots. Okay, if you want. <laughs> Almost full up trim. Get to the air, number two, find and field. Get to it. Don't fly away from it. We got the wind really holding us up here. Okay. So we're going to fight the wind on the way there. Hold it up. Or up trim. Give me your landing light, please. Hold it up here. Or up trim. Number one, air 68, while you're doing that, get to the field. Oh, I got him now. Got him? Good. You can just announce the traffic what we're doing, so they know where what we're what we're doing, what altitude we're doing it from. 
And mobile traffic, Skyhawk Zero Bravo Sierra is forming engine, uh, simulated engine out, uh, descending through 3000. Good. All right, so A, B, C, A, airspeed, B, best field, C, cockpit. Cessna simulating engine outs. I'm at, uh, I'm about to turn base. Do you think I'm able to get through before you guys? Oh, yeah, we have you in sight. You're fine. All right, thanks. All right, so that would be affirmative, yeah. Sight. Affirmative, yeah. Not uh, yeah. Right? Oh, he's Aff way out there. Affirmative, we have you in sight, right? Right. <laughs> Not yeah, or yes. <laughs> well, I'm a mechanic. What do you want from me, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're transforming you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cockpit restart. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, make sure all my fuel stuff's in. going to rich, make it rich. Yes. Fuel pump. Crank it. Hopefully it starts. If it doesn't, everything off. Good. Good. D for opening the doors. And then if we have time, mayday, mayday. Mayday, mayday. And have the passenger stick his finger. Door. Traffic got <laughs> six privacy. No, sorry. Two Leo <laughs> Papa turning final runway three two. Okay, we're at two thousand, so I suggest we start getting around. By the way, so if we find if we find a problem, it just starts up, right? Right. So I'm going to shut the engine off. You're actually going to? Yep, yeah, it's off. Look, there's nothing here. Oh. Wow. See, how, see how the windmill keeps it keeps windmilling? Oh, okay. Okay. So. Out feels, there we go. Uh, <laughs> Get yourself on down. You nervous. <laughs> yeah. Looking good. Okay. So once we find the problem, okay. Now check, check. Now I'm not going to hit this yet. Okay. Jump the, f the fuel pump on mags if it's all good. Two, right. Once I find out, once I find the problem, all right. Kicks right over. Okay. Now this is fuel injected. It's much better than carburetor. So how do you like that? I like it. <laughs> you ever land with the taxi light on in the night? Uh, I, at night time, I lay with everything on, all my lights that I can. Okay. You right, so let, we're kind of on a modified downwind. Yeah, let right? them know you're on downwind. We can go a little farther. We need more room here to turn around, right? Okay. Mobile traffic zero, Bravo Sierra is uh, downwind 3 2. Ever do a full stop? Yes. Okay. Haven't you had enough torture? Oh, I could fly all day. I see that. <laughs> All right. Beam the field. Are, this traffic. is still simulated. Uh, uh, yes. On the go, runway three two, mobile, and I have the traffic in sight. If he's on the go and we're behind him, how's he have us in sight? He probably went had. <laughs> Student pilots. <laughs> Isn't that Kevin? Uh, Kevin's with him. I'm pretty sure. I don't like to hit my second degree of flaps until I'm on final and sure I have the runway bait. Oh, right. Don't Can I bring them up? No, you don't want to bring them up either. You lose too much lift now. Now, you're at a pretty good altitude. You're perfect, uh, so this is okay. It, um, if we didn't have... Helps you're at Millville, too. Yeah, if we didn't have a very strong headwind. You're, you're barely... If you make this, you're going to barely make it. But it looks like you are. Ah, now you're going to 68 knots. Now you want to hold it up as long as possible. <laughs> you have flaps. So you can actually go a little slower. Okay. A little more up trim. Double traffic. Skyhawk Zero Bravo Sierra short final. 3 2 full stop. Zero Bravo Sierra Melville wind 3008 altimeter 3031 advised out and clear. Got it made. Full flaps. Nice job. Excellent. Nose down so we don't lose airspeed. So now, if we get a little shorter, we want to go a little shorter. Let's slip it in a little bit. Get the nose over here. Drop the wing. Keep the nose down so we don't stall. We cannot stall it here. Okay, now take it out. Take it in. Take it in and land it. Beautiful. But Look at that. Normally, I would want to just fly it in, right? Not slip Good. it in. Normally. Just a little like right rudder here. Just a touch of right rudder. Touch of right rudder. More right rudder. Touch of right rudder. Look how much right rudder we have to give it just to keep it straight. Right. Nice job. Now, at Woodbine, you started turning way too early. You see how far you went out here? Right. And that's with the wind. Yep, yep. But don't hit that next second. I don't know. I just, yeah, yeah, no, you're, it just seems like I would rather be closer to the airport with no engine. But. And if, slip it in or whatever. If you're in a field, you'll hit the trees on the other side if you don't make it. If you don't land real short. Because oh, right, normally, right, right. it's not a long field. 
Which, uh, where do you want to go? Here? Yeah, we'll get in. Get out of his way. Very good flying. I think that looked really great. That yeah, was a good day. Because you're meditating on it before you get here, and that's the that's the reason why. Yep. When you it's, you got to be in the right. That, that's a big thing in anything. I mean, absolutely. Like, I love to play golf, but a big part of that is mental. Every yeah. a lot of it is getting your mindset correct. You, know? you, you did you didn't go in and do any of your stuff with A and B unless you concentrated on it before you got there, or you'd be crap when you got there. Right. Well, and that that's why half the people don't don't make it. Right. So a traffic, two lane Papa swimming base, runway three two, level. Hey, mobile, uh traffic zero, Bravo zero is down and clear. So zero, Bravo zero, Roger, thanks. Um, strobe's off. When do you have to have your nav lights on? When do you have to have them on? When it's about dark. <laughs> you could just An say the word before. A sun, no, sunset, <laughs> sunrise, sunset to sunrise. Okay, so traffic to the Papa, starting final, runway 32, full stop. He may be soloing. I don't, it's pretty windy, I don't think. He, but he may be soloing. It was a little windy, but I'll tell you what, it. I don't even notice the wind you're, much you're, anymore because we fly in the wind so much. You're getting used to Yeah, we're not going like to... <laughs> if we didn't fly in the wind, we would never fly. Right. And on a, on a calm day, I'm like, man, <laughs> this is luxurious. Really nice, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so we're flying tomorrow? Or do you think we need to? No, but at, at 11.30, I'm doing that ground with those other two guys. Right. So you may as well sit on that and pay pay one third the price rather than okay. Yeah, cause cause we do one tomorrow is dedicated to studying for me anyway. So I'll, I'll come in at eleven. Right. You said uh, eleven thirty or I I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. It's eleven thirty, twelve okay. o'clock. All the planes are out. All every one of the Big Sky's planes are out. Even the one eighty two. Even one eighty two. Who's got that? Uh, Mike Lero. Like I said, when he comes back in, you guys swap phone numbers if you, if you want to get on Facebook with him. And yeah, definitely. As a matter of fact, he goes flying, and like today, he said, anybody want to go? Um, yeah, I'm definitely down. I need good. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Good third spot in. Next to we the don't yellow have, plane. We don't have cones there yet. Uh-huh. I tell you about those guys that built that plane. Three years in their garage, two guys built it. Right, and sitting something just happened to it? A few things. It's... One hit had the hail damage like every all of our planes. Uh, Maybe that's what. And I'm the, the about. flood, the flood came too and flooded out his plane. And a lot I of, can't believe that the water got that high here. Well, that's what we. Well, I still can't believe it. it was, anything sitting in that corner over there, it came up three feet. I mean, were people's cars flooded out too? No, just in that corner, right there in that corner. Over here. Yeah, over there. Must be a low oh, spot. Traffic, Kimi and Papa is down and clear. I hate driving over those ropes, but you've never had one get picked up, huh? No, but it's smart not to drive over them, right? Or taxi over them. Good. Good. Checklist, because last time I didn't follow that.